Hey guys, in today's video, we will talk about the sodas and uh, my strategy in using this um, game resource. So as you all know, we can find the sodas here. When you go to a hero, go to the boost down below and you will see the option to see boost for one day with 18 sodas. And you can check the amount of your sodas on the top, top right corner. You can see tap on it. It will explain sodas used to boost your hero and improve your soul buy. And the current sodas of mine is 15,611. So the sodas can be used for the soul buy and for the boost. However, I technically don't really soul buy my hero. I only do a few because, um, you know, this was done when I were a new player, but now I really don't do the so buy i only do the so buy when the event comes because when i do the so buy your total mind of the hero will increase and when you do that your overall your total collection mind will also increase increase which can affect your dark tower matchmaking which means that your opponent can be much more stronger than you so i try to avoid so buying them and instead i just level them because so buy at additional my to the heroes which I want to avoid here's I will have a table which I will explain to you guys later but now I'm just gonna quickly show you through that here you can see most of my comments are so by because it was done a long time ago but for my rare for example here you can see when you do the um, features that filters right here you can see that most of my rares are not really so by at all you can see this I still have a so by I can do the so buy, but I don't want to. Instead, I will use all of my uh, sodas for the reborn boost metal that you guys have seen in uh, several videos I have uploaded. You can check it out. I will link it in the description. So technically, until I reach League 1, I will use um, all of my sodas for reborn boost only. And after that, I will uh, consider so binding this hero. But until then, this will stay like this for at least a few more months, you know, all of the his hero, even the epic, you know, none of them are fully so by. Probably gonna leave them here, just gonna do a few, but uh, I want to avoid as many, doing as many so by as much as possible. So this is a table that I would like to talk about with you guys. So on the top line, you can see uh, for the table. Uh, the first one is the rare, the so buy number four. So this um, so buy will cost you 175 sodas to do it. And once you complete this, the so buy, you will increase the troop by 35. And next to that, we have the uh, dust to troop ratio. So when we divide by the tr dust by troop, you will get five, which means that if you use five sodas, you will increase one troop. And the same thing apply, you know, you can understand the next one with the troop to, to dust. So if you want to um, increase your troop with the cheapest one, you should go for the top to from the top to bottom. But if you want to do the same as I am, I am doing right now, which is to avoiding, you know, increasing troop, you can go from the bottom to top and you should stay away from the top because you would only want to do that when you go to league one or league two for example that is just my strategy so you can do whatever you want but um you can follow um, my strategy if you want to do so because so far i think it is correct uh at least for me in my case that uh, i want to avoid increasing troops but if you want to you know enjoy um doing tough war and you want to increase the troops and this table will help you decide which kind of so buy you know, for legendary, common, rare, or epic, and what numbers of so buy should you do? So based on this table, you can do that. So that's just the end of this video, I guess. Um, hope you guys uh, find it helpful, and leave a comment if you don't understand which part, and I will try to answer it. So until next time, I will catch you guys later.